At Real Ice Canada, we are often asked, where does the air go? Let us explain. Ice has traditionally been made with hot water. Ice makers use extremely hot water, often reaching 160 degrees Fahrenheit to fill their ice resurfacers. That's costly and bad for the environment. To make a resilient and strong sheet of ice, ice makers need to remove the micro air bubbles trapped in the water before freezing it. Otherwise, the ice sheet will be brittle and weak. The amount of air trapped in the water varies greatly depending upon the temperature of the water. When the water is at 50 degrees Fahrenheit, there is a significant amount of trapped air. But when the water is heated to 160 degrees Fahrenheit or more, there are only trace amounts of trapped air. By heating the water up to make the ice, the air bubbles are removed, just as if you were to put a pan of water on the stove to boil. When the water boils, little air bubbles are visible along the side of the pan. They evaporate and then disappear. Imagine being able to lower operational costs and make fantastic ice. That's where real ice comes in. Real ice is powered by water pressure only and spins the water like a tornado to remove the air bubbles. The undissolved micro air bubbles in the water are pulled into the extreme low pressure zone that is created by the forces inside the real ice system. This low pressure causes the air bubbles to expand, gather into larger air bubbles and escape into the atmosphere through the resurfacing machine's fill hole because air is lighter than water. It's just like boiling the water, but without the heat. The Polymer Technology Group at the University of Eindhoven in the Netherlands tested real ice technology and showed that when the air bubbles are removed, the viscosity is lowered by 5 to 17 percent, and the heat transfer capacity increases by 5 percent for ice. Viscosity is a measure that shows how much resistance occurs for a liquid. For example, honey has a much higher viscosity than water. So the lower the viscosity, the easier the water can flow or circulate, and that's better for making ice. Increasing the heat transfer capacity means less energy is required to keep ice made with real ice frozen, and therefore operators will be able to reset their brine temperatures 3 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit warmer. Real ice is a really smart piece of equipment, which is easily added to a rink's piping system. It's a brilliant example of precision fluid dynamics, which requires no chemicals, filters or maintenance. Real ice has no moving parts and is powered by water pressure alone.